What is education? What does education mean to you? How will you use this right? And what choices will you make? Our education and ideas about education as pre-service teachers at ACU Fitzroy could be and are very different to other 22-year-olds elsewhere in the world. These are important questions when reflecting and considering what Article 26 means to different individuals, prompting our installation. We believe it's important to explore this notion, reflecting and exploring the concept of education through time and what it means to us today and how our considerations and beliefs in our education could differ from others. Hi, my name is Aloise Policia and I welcome you to my individual process video of the group art installation for EDAR 422, Creative Arts Education 2. Our claymation video inspired us for our installation as we looked at the diversity in the classroom and all of these students having an equal right to an education, no matter what their background, culture or differing features. Vygotsky believed that the environment played an important role in the development of a child. The social characteristic keeps students in touch with their feelings and emotions. This was kept in mind when creating our installation, as we believe our installation promotes discussion and social aspects. The installation focuses on the right to an education. It points attention to not only having a right to an education, but questions how an individual will use this right. The aim for the installation was to make it interactive and accessible to people of all ages through engaging and thought-provoking items. The vision involved making something that can be used over and over again, developed and added to year by year, subject to subject, in order to cater for the students' current understandings and experiences. Art was incorporated within the installation to teach lessons to individuals about having a right to an education and what it takes to use that right effectively. Wenham 2003 explains how art can assist people to learn about themselves and to reflect on others' perspectives, to question our world, to observe critically and to reflect on how we feel about what we encounter throughout life. Dinham 2014 states that art can act as a tool to engage children from all backgrounds, helping disengaged and at-risk students to find a purpose in their schooling. Bloomfield 2000 highlights how art works contain and represent a value system, providing opportunity for thought and reflection. We hope that our art installation provokes self-reflection and consideration of education within our current society, both locally and globally. The installation opens the opportunity for the exploration and collaboration of integrated learning experiences, which is advocated by Bloomfield and Childs 2000, as it strengthens the unity of teaching and learning. When creating the installation, emphasis was put onto the fact that everyone sees and uses education differently. The installation was produced to be used across all curricular learning areas. Jacobs 1989 suggests that a cross-curricular approach is referred to as interdisciplinary because it incorporates more than one single subject area with the subject disciplines related through a central theme, issue, problem, process, topic or experience. Therefore, the installation created is considered inclusive. The installation is curriculum driven in order for a range of subjects and learning areas to be achieved and incorporated. The installation aligns with a number of learning areas within the curriculum, including history, English, as well as personal and social capability. We explore what education was like in the past and the factors such as collaboration and fighting for rights that have made education what it is today. As the Victorian Curriculum 2016 discusses how learning about history can promote the understanding of movements and developments that have shaped ed education from the earliest times, as well as helping students appreciate the significant connections that exist to the present day. The installation also incorporates the use of text to add an element of communication. This is due to the Victorian curriculum, which states that English helps students become ethical, thoughtful, informed and active members of society. Hence, the installation is able to support development of these skills by provoking thought and emotions as viewers engage with it. As quoted by the United Nations Secretary General 2012, education is much more than an entry to the job market. It has the power to shape a sustainable future and better world. Education policies should promote peace, mutual respect and environmental care. 
Through the installation, students learn about the role education plays in the sustainability of the world. It provides thought-provoking ideas, which has been done in reflection of personal and social capabilities. As this creates an opportunity for students to develop empathy for others, value their own and others' education, and to additionally recognise commonalities and differences, create connections with others, and cultivate mutual respect. A lot has been learnt throughout the process of creating and developing this art installation, not only in regards to how it would be utilised within the classroom setting, but also about my own views and ideas based on the concept of education and the right to an education. I want to thank you for listening to this reflection.